Hey everyone, I hope that you are doing well. It is GP here from Ink and Bays and happy February, happy Friday. Well, it's Friday at the time of me recording this. I am running a little bit late with this video. Hopefully I'll be able to get it recorded, edited, and then uploaded um, sometime Friday night. But if not, you know, you can watch it whenever you get to watch it. But I am so, so, so ready to begin February, but we are gonna kick off first we need to go through our binders. I got some freebie links down in the description box and we're gonna talk about those and everything that we're gonna be doing for the month of February. So we won't necessarily be doing any cash stuff and we'll be talking about what we plan to do and hopefully some of these goals that we are able to achieve. Before I get started though, I just wanna say a huge thank you to Maria again from She Has Got It. She sent me over some more um, happy mail, which I am so, 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 so excited for guys. I know you guys are going to love this. Um, this, you guys know that I came out with, um, an affirmation, a 12 month affirmation set, and it is all about inspiring you to say something positive to yourself every month. And every time you cash stuff, like every time you cash stuff, I want you to say something positive to yourself and get into the habit of speaking, you know, positive things over your finances and your life. But without diving into too much, um, Maria came out with her very own kind of motivational and, you know, um, inspirational as well as, you know, affirmations here as well. And she did such a cute job. Um, so we have our nice, beautiful quote to the top here. We do have nine envelopes here. I love the color scheme as well. We have the month to the side here. There's a total down to the bottom here. And guess what? She has also made a little bonus there. So like when you finish your nine envelopes, there's your 10 bonus there. She did such a good job designing these. I love these so much, guys. She is launching her Etsy store. When she does, do me a favor. Go over there, favorite it. And look out for some of the amazing things that she's going to be making. So I have all of the months here. I think I took out February already and I've already put it into my binder. So you will definitely see it again. But, you know, wealth and abundance flow to me easily. I believe there's enough money for everyone. The universe always serves. And look at all these lovely, amazing quotes. And I just love the color, guys. They are just some of the cutest savings challenges ever and then she also made me this one which is quite unique actually i don't think i have anything like this find the words and then save it so the first word you just would you see describes your personality okay the first word i see is smart money smart money creative <laughs> that's the first thing i see i guess i'm smart guys okay you know what i'm going to sign like a euro for every letter so every time i find a word you know i'll just you know yeah anyway that's that's i mean she sent me some other ones as well i think i already put them away because i was just so excited but these ones i definitely want to um get started on anyway so that's that now let's get into our binders for the month of february if you have not yet had a chance to order some of these oops binders uh, i call them oops because they aren't a hundred percent perfect but at the end of the day, is anyone or is anything 100% perfect? You know what I mean? So these were Oops Binders. We we launched this, you know, like a week or so ago. And honestly, I didn't think anyone would purchase them. So, you know, I did price them, you know, relatively inexpensive. They aren't cheap, but, you know, I think that the price point for these were a middle ground for all of us just to see and see if, you know, if anyone was going to get them. And I was very honest, you know, I did say some of the things that I did not like, but I actually, I've, it's grown on me. And the more I look at it, the more I realize it is absolutely perfect. These rings, you guys remember we had the croc binders from Amazon. The rings in these binders, I'm not even tooting my own horn because there's other binders just like this. Um, and they have nice rings too. These rings are so much bigger and like you can turn so much more easier oh my gosh i if if i wasn't the if i wasn't the person selling these binders i would be the one buying them like i would buy from i mean i, I am buying for myself i have bought for myself what am i talking about i pay for my stuff and i put that money back into the business and while we didn't really we did not make any profit whatsoever um, I ended up using a lot of the money to cover some of the shipping costs as well because the shipping from Ireland, like what I charge on Etsy is not the actual shipping cost. It costs twice as much as that, sometimes even more. And so I have to cover all of that. So there was zero negative profit actually. Um, but it's a learning process. You figure this out as you go. And 
were, we weren't profitable one because when they arrived i was you know very disappointed again the zipper you know so i would love for everyone that did order to just give me some feedback um does the zipper really bother you i know that there was issues with like there was like just stuff stuck on to here that i just couldn't get off and i don't i felt like if i tried to scrape it off it would make more dents and more damage so how they sent it to me is how i you know i just took it up the plastic that they sent it to me and then i repackaged it try to make it you know not as dusty as it came and and you know what i love it and this taupe binder, I think was the first, to, actually the white was the first to sell out. The white was the first to sell out. Um, and the white is coming back in limited quantity. So when they're there, that's the, that's all. I'm putting all there, I'm not saving anything. I'm not putting anything to the side. How much comes is how much is available. And once it's sold out, it's sold out until the next restock. So guys, just make sure you favorite the store. And what was the perfect challenge to put into the white binder the 100 envelope challenge like it just screamed 100 envelopes everything was nice a white background the minimal 100 envelope savings challenge available on etsy as well and um, it's just absolutely perfect we do have some new envelopes coming as well and the envelopes that i have coming are actually going to have tabs on them so this is going to make finding you know different categories and stuff just a little bit more easier so definitely stay tuned for those okay so for the month of february we have our 100 envelope binder already set up everything is in the category section one through ten and also what we do is just put stickers on there if you're new to my channel this is how i do my 100 envelopes i divide everything into sticker i mean into the sections and then i have a wild and then i have a, a bonus section here as well so that is the binder for the 100 oh my gosh i just i love these binders so so much i feel like i'm in therapy like you know so anyway that's the 100 envelope binder that we set up for february so this is my main saving challenge binder that we set up for the for for all of my main saving challenges that have a specific amount that has a specific target a specific goal and you remember that we did a tutorial on how to make vellum inserts for these and we put little stickers on here i actually need to get that template up as well um, I'm going to try to have that ready for this weekend. I've just been working, guys. Uh, I work every day to the bank early in the morning and I come home late at night. So I haven't had a chance to upload anything as yet. But I'm going to have those things uploaded as soon as possible. Anyway, I felt like this coffee type vibe go went well with the taupe. So um, we put the envelopes in here. And so this has all of my January, my 5 euros, my 10 euros, my 20 euros, my, my 1,000, my 500, the dashboard for the 100 envelope, all of the different challenges for this month we have into the taupe binder. And this is the cash that I'm gonna be cash stuffing. Ignore my nail, guys. Um, I do a lot with my middle finger, so I have to cut this one down. Anyway, um, so the cash is there. And look, I love this little pocket to the back here. I could just tuck a savings challenge to the back here, or I could tuck my cash to the back here. If they have any coins i can put them in there i just i just i am in love guys we are in love and anyone who's gotten if you've ordered all orders have been shipped i just received one order today so that'll be shipped tomorrow and i'm trying to get them out i'm trying to get them out within a day or two like one to two days okay so bear with me okay so that's our main binders okay so we talked about the hundred envelope right in the white and then we talked about the main savings challenges that has the coffee themed to them. Um, and that's that. And then lastly, introducing something brand new and the but what everyone, well not everybody, what you guys have been waiting for. The Builder Farm is officially in its own binder and in all its glory. It is one of my most favorite binders like i say that about all my binders but honestly if you don't psych yourself up and if you don't get yourself excited and be like oh my gosh this is like i i love i love this i love 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 i think i got this sticker from shein um and then this this here so when we first talked about build a farm this was the very i think this was the very first set Okay, this was the first free bree, free free bree. <laughs> this was the first freebie 
um, and I hopefully you guys have already got it. You don't need to purchase anything else. You could just keep reusing these. These this has the main gist of everything. Okay, feed the animals, harvest the ingredients, and then grow the crops for your farm. So if you didn't grab that freebie, the link for that freebie should still be in the video called Intense Budget Binder. Hop over there and get it. You will have um, the freebie for the Build a Farm dashboard. Um, I believe, was it Michelle? Sorry, it's, I didn't get a chance to look at the comments. Um, but um, I, it, there was a suggestion that, you know, we... we build a farm it's looking like it's going to need its own binder we're going to need a dashboard and i was like you know what that's a really great idea i'm gonna do that so the build a farm dashboard this is how it looks you can get it this is it's i have this laminated with gloss and i love it so much i think it's just the cutest thing ever and then here is our budget sheet to the back here you can print this out as much times as you like i would I would just tally up at the end of every month and just put the total here for all of the challenges here. And in addition to the dashboard, as well as the budget sheet, you also get the spice garden. And you may be asking yourself, why? What's so special about a spice garden? Well, there are going to be some mystery challenges that pop up and you're going to need certain ingredients to save in order to make these, um, you know, these little recipes so here we to the back here like here we have this recipe card and at the bottom here i have add one euro or one dollar for cinnamon okay and you're gonna be like where do i get the cinnamon from well you get the cinnamon from the spice garden so the spice garden is a free bee it comes in a set of three so the, the sheet is gonna have the build a farm dashboard build a farm budget sheet and you also get the spice garden and the spice garden is going to add a little bit of spice to your farm you know what i mean so instead of every all of the challenges every now and then there's going to be a mystery challenge that pops up and that you're going to have to save for and you're actually going to need some of the spices that's on the spice garden as well salt and pepper is always free but every time you use any of these spices for any of your ingredients you are going to save one euro one dollar one pound one yen one of something okay so that is the freebie there so basically when it comes to the freebies you would have already received this here and you would have now you're getting this as well as the spice garden okay now for anyone that's really really going to be serious about this build a farm challenge i really do think that this challenge can save you some thousands um if used correctly i do i do see this as a potential of saving some really good money it's not a one-time saving challenge it's ongoing savings challenge just like farmville um if you've ever played farm billy you know how we had to go down to the to the glade garden i think i what it's called to get special spices and every every week or every every couple of weeks there was always like a new theme a new challenge going on anyway so that's the freebies there okay now you would have seen hmm i don't remember if i anything else was free but we do have ingredient orders um, that is on our order board. Okay. You won't be able to do any of the order boards until you actually go through each of the challenges. Now let's talk about the freebie first. If you're using the freebie, if we talk about growing the crops here, this is the freebie that came in the previous video. And what I've done here is for each one of these crops, I've actually made a saving challenge for it so that you can keep track of how much peaches you grew, how much strawberries you grew, how much carrots you grew, wheat, corn, and apple, okay? So the peaches have their own saving challenge. The strawberries have their own savings challenge. The carrots have their own savings challenge. Corn has their own savings challenge and apples have their own savings challenge you do not need to purchase this i just have them separate here so it just makes it more easier for me to know how much of the crops i have in my inventory like i am taking my farm very serious guys all right so and that's the week to there okay now in the next in, a, in the next freebie so we're finished with grow the crops so in the next card here we do have a card for feeding the animals and we have three animals in the farm starting off I don't have any animals animals on my farm just yet because I need to check to see if I can maintain taking care of my animals. So I have, so on starting off, you have access to a cow, a chicken, 
as well as a goat. And this card also tells you what each of these animals are going to need in order for them to produce certain ingredients. So what I've done as well is that I've created a saving challenge for each of the animals. So this is the saving challenge for the chicken. And I put to the top of each of the card what each animal needs and what they're going to produce. So when you feed the chicken to corn, it's going to produce one egg, okay? Then I have a saving challenge for the actual, egg, for the actual ingredient that is being made. So this is the saving challenge for the egg. So as you can see, I try to make sure that every time something is being created, that there is somewhere for you to record that. All right, so that's that. And then as for the goat, so you feed the goat two carrots and the goat produces one goat's milk. So this is the saving challenge for the goat. Every time you feed it the two carrots, you're just gonna put a little tick right there or color it in. And then here's the goat's milk that it produces, right? Not all of these are going to be treated like saving challenges. So for example, right, so when I feed my goat the two carrots, I'm actually paying for the carrots. So I don't want anyone to kind of like when I, where's the carrots? So let's just kind of make sure I be as clear as possible with this savings challenge, okay? I'm going to color in two euros for the two carrots that I need to grow. Then I'm going to feed that to my goat right? When I feed my goat, I'm going to color this in and I'm going to save one euro as well. Okay. So that's two euros for the carrots, one euro for the goat. Okay. Then for the goat's milk, I put that in my inventory and I also save one euro for that as well. This is how I want to do it. So there's always one euro for every single transaction, every step of the way. So for it to get from the carrot to the, to the goat and to the final goat's milk, that's one euro here. All right. And then when I actually need to make an ingredient, let's say, for example, when I need to make an ingredient here, I'll also pay for that as well. So everything I'm using as an opportunity to save, that's the method that I have going on here as well. All right. So that's so that's the cow. I mean, sorry, that's the goat. And then we have the goat's milk and then we have the cow. You need the cow it requires three wheat in order for it to produce one cow milk. That's the cow saving challenge. And then this is the cow's milk saving challenge. And then lastly, um, there are other ingredients that needs to be made that you don't have to use for the animals. And in order for you to make flour, you're gonna need two wheat. Again, the wheat is all the way to the front here. So, there we go. So you would need one, two, three. You save the three euros or the three dollars. You save that for the three wheat. Then you come here and you save one for the flour and you just cross it off. That's how I'm using all of my um, saving challenges. And then two corn equals one sugar. And then three cow's milk equals one butter. And then lastly, after you're done growing your crops, feeding your animals, getting your ingredients, the last part of the challenge really is just fulfilling the order boards as well as the recipe cards okay this probably is going to be the last one that you do because you need so much different ingredients and you're going to save a lot of money on the recipe cards once you're done try you know the first thing you could possibly do when you start growing your farm is fulfilling the crop orders you can grow five apples so that's five euros five dollars five pounds and then you just put a tick here and you're done so i have an icon for each of the saving challenges that you get completed so for the five apples, that's five euros, five dollars, five pounds. Color in your apple. This order is now done. Four corn, fill that in, you're done. Six wheat, fill that in, you're done. And you will find that you're going to be saving twice. Because not only are you going to put six, six euros, six dollars or six pounds in this envelope for the six wheat, but you actually have to pay for that on the wheat challenge as well. When you cross off six, you're putting six euros into this envelope. And when you come here to fulfill this order, you're putting six in here. Okay? Because it's almost like you're the customer. You have to pay for the the um, the products that you're selling. This order board is for cus paying customers. So you have to treat it as a, as, a, as a way to pay yourself on this farm as well. I hope all of that kind of makes sense. Okay? So that's basically all of the saving challenges that we have. And then I do, I did come up with some new recipe cards as well. Um, one of my wonderful subscribers suggested a uh, peach cobbler, I believe it was. And so that's one of the recipes that we have here. 
the other one is a carrot cake and then this one is a strawberry cheesecake and i was asking for some more ideas and uh, i've received a few ideas on instagram as well as um, on the community page so that's build uh, a build a farm the last and final edition and you guessed it this is also going to be a freebie as well because I feel like you will have so much more fun. So basically, you're going to have, you should already have this first set of freebies from the previous video. Now you've got your dashboard. Now you've got your budget sheet. And then you have the spice garden here as well. But then the final thing I think that's going to be really fun is actually having some cards and letting the cards decide what exactly do I want to do today. So I've shuffled the cards. Um, and it's going to be available as a PDF. You download it and just cut it out and then laminate them. So let's pick a card. Oopsie, let's put one of these back. All right, so the first card that we picked, it says to make some flour. And then, so now we're gonna go to the saving challenge that says make flour. So we're gonna flip through our beautiful binder until we get to the page that says make flour which right here. And this says that I need to get two wheat in order to make a flower. So then I go back to my wheat envelope. I put in, I take out the two euros. I take out the two wheat here. I go back here and I color in one of the flowers and I save a, a dollar here. So that's three euros for today's challenge that I need to save. So I feel like build a farm is still very much budget friendly, low income friendly, low budget friendly. It's really fun and it can actually save you so much money and this is just the first set like i have so much ideas for add-ons and extensions and different ways for you to be interactive and save with this challenge anyway so that's what we're going to be starting during the month of february please go down in the description box grab your freebies as soon as possible the link will <clears throat> only be up for a couple of hours and then the link will go away if you end up seeing this video after the link has been removed it is available on etsy if you are still interested so this is our <clears throat> my voice is going now talking too much so this is our build a farm budget binder so this is our new binder that's now going to be joining us during the month of february all right so last but not least let's get into the other saving challenges now i would have shown you most of these challenges already all we did was just switch them over so this was in one of my old binders now this is now in the gray binder all right so we've black we have white we have taupe and now we have our gray and this is all of the other saving challenges that i'm going to be working on but what i've done is i kind of switched them okay i i have i have two binders this is another black binder here so i've put all of my different saving challenges in here i was going to take the cash and like reallocate it into my hundred envelope but i feel like i might get a little bit confused when I'm doing my month, my month and um, tally up, I feel like I might get a little bit confused. So I need to do a find a different way. So all of my saving challenges from different YouTubers and Etsy stores are in this binder. This is my fun binder. I basically roll a dice and I randomly select one of these saving challenges. All right. So this is the binder that has 20 different saving challenges in here as well as scratch offs. That's for this binder. And then lastly, before I let you go for February, we have a fifth binder here. And for this binder, I wanted to put all of the challenges that have a specific time frame to be completed. So this is very much going to be different from the gray binder. The gray binder, I only pull this out when I make extra money in any given month, extra income. That's where this one is funded. This one is also going to be funded whenever I have extra cash, but this one is gonna be more of a high priority because it's for specific months. So this is the February challenge from Fiona, February challenge from Jerry. This is the February challenge from Maria. And then I also have these challenges here for the month of February because they are kind of like Valentine's related. So we wanna get these done this month as well. And then we're introducing another scratch off and um, like a roll of dice kind of challenge. Roll the dice, save the amount that we put in there. And then this is for February as well. I'm, so, I'm just, I'm really anxious to see what the bonus amount is. 
And then this was another freebie that Maria sent me, um, Book Lover. And this couldn't have come at a perfect time because I am trying to keep track of how many books I read this year. You guys remember I shared some books that I want to read in 2024. So I'm going to be using this tracker to kind of encourage myself and save a little whilst I'm reading different books. So thank you, Maria, for that. I've put that inside here as a reminder to continue to read. And then she also made me another scratch off. Guys, look at this. Look at this gorgeous um, saving challenge. And she put the holes in it and everything. I am in love. I'm obsessed. Is this not the cutest ever? And guess what? It's still a reasonable amount. Now this, I don't have to finish this in February, but it was so pretty. It was so pretty. I might actually put this inside this binder here. Um, yeah, I might actually put it here because this is my coffee theme binder here. So I might switch that out and put it inside here as well. Um, I just, uh, I'm in love. I absolutely love. All right, so last but not least, I want to talk very quickly about Budget Food Camp. And this is actually going to be the final freebie in this video, okay? I'm giving you a ton of freebies, guys. Let's talk about the Budget Food Camp. This Budget Food Camp is going to begin next week on February 5th, Monday, February 5th, for seven days. Here is how this works. That's the dashboard for the Budget Boot Camp. And now if you have been with me since December, you would remember that we did our 12 days of dice mess, which 12 days we roll a dice and each day we add an additional dice and we roll that and we tried our best to save now when i started that i did not know how i was supposed to finish that but thankfully the universe had plans for me and i was able to be able to finish that we're not going to go as intense of december because that was so intense guys that really was that really pushed me beyond my limits um but i want to get in the habit of doing a little boot uh, a little budget boot camp every two to three months like just to give us a little push a little nudge so here's how this works on day one and it looks like the results came in that you guys want to be to be team black so i'm going to be team black if you would like to participate and you get the freebie and you download it but you don't have the dices i'm going to be rolling the dices for you as well just choose a team choose which team you want to be i'm going to roll the dice and whatever that amount is that's what you saved all right so i have all my dices here for each of the teams here is how this worked on day one it's going to be one dice. Okay, that's for day one. Then day two, it's now going to be two dices. Two dice, sorry. That's for day two. That's the amount for day two. And just kind of cross it off. Now, I put six different dices, dice here. Guys, I'm going to be saying dices at some point. I know it's incorrect, but I'm trying to make a habit of saying it correctly. I put a variety here because maybe there's somebody out there that wants to push themselves a little harder. This is the intensity level, okay? If you feel on day one you want to have a low intense, a low intensity, you roll one die. If you want to go big or go home and roll all six die on all seven days, you can do that as well. So this is just the level of intensity. Are you level one or are you level six? Up to you. I'm I'm sticking to my level. So on day two, you roll two die. On day three, you're going to roll three die, okay? And each day, you are saving that exact amount. On day four, you roll four. On day five, you roll five. On day six, you roll six die. And then finally, on day seven, you roll all seven die. And that's what basically that is. I do have a bonus section to the bottom here. Um, if you're feeling very lucky at the end of the day and you're like on day one, you ended up rolling your die and only one showed and you're like, you know what? I don't want to, I don't want to save just one for this day. You can roll a die again and just use that as a bonus for each day to just add extra savings onto it and just kind of write it down, write down your day one, your day two and everything for each day. And so this is just going to push you to, you know, save just a little bit more um, this month. Okay. So again, this is going to begin on February 5th. I will be posting a video every single day for the, for the seven days, specifically for the budget boot camp, And we're going to go through each of the teams so you can get your numbers. I feel like this is just a fun way to push yourself to get started on saving. So that's a freebie as well. Okay. So get your build a farm, um, dashboard, budget sheet, and the spice garden. You got your build a farm cards to get started on playing the games, which I think is so, so much fun. And you also get the budget boot camp 
free b so that you can join me next week for this saving challenge and just push yourself just to save a bit more money um coming into february you know because i know there's some people out there that hasn't got started they wanted to get started january 1st things didn't quite work out life was lifing things happened and now you just feel stuck you might be feeling you know not motivated you might be seeing everybody just get all excited you're just in the corner there and no one's cheering you on i am cheering you on come and join me on this budget beat camp me and you together we're gonna struggle we're gonna push we're gonna shed some tears we're gonna fight and we are going to save get started with me okay we're gonna have lots of fun in february don't don't worry it's not just all just save 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 and get the money get the money we're gonna have lots and lots of fun um i'm hoping to have my restock um in about three or four weeks give or take once the restock comes in you're gonna you should be able to grab yourself some new binders and um get yourself some new cash envelopes all of these and i show i've shared videos where you can get free saving challenges from so listen there's ways that you could just get stuff for free so don't feel like just because you don't have any money that you can't um participate and have fun you know grab the freebies and join me even if you put everything into an envelope join me during the month of february all right i think i've said more than enough that's my plan for february playing some savings challenges everything is all set up into my new binders freebie links will be down in the description i will see you for my first cash stuffing i'm ready to build my farm and uh, i will see you in the next video guys thanks so much for spending time with me bye